Legion of Boom is no more. What is going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk back at it with another video talking some NFL here to talk about some NFL breaking news, and that is the Seahawks have decided to trade defensive end Michael Bennett, and he is headed to the current Super Bowl champ, the Philadelphia Eagles. So, yes, the rich do get richer. Here to break down this trade for you guys, not just this trade itself, but also the larger storyline here as we all know it which is of course that the Seattle Seahawks and their vaunted Legion of Boom defense is slowly deteriorating and basically um, now we're hearing reports that Richard Sherman might be traded as well and you of course had reports before that Cam Chancellor or Cl Cliff Averill might retire so could the Legion of Boom pretty much be over at this point so let's talk about it now the official trade here is Michael Bennett and a seventh round pick traded to the Philadelphia Eagles and in return the Seattle Seahawks get a fifth round pick and wide receiver Marcus Johnson now from everything I've read uh, wide receiver Marcus Johnson even though he seems like a throw in he's basically insurance in case the Seahawks lose Paul Richardson in free agency okay so that's basically uh, the sort of wrinkle there if you will but in terms of the overall trade um am i surprised here look i'm surprised at the fact that the seahawks had to give up one of their own picks and i know it's a seventh round pick but still the fact that they had to give up one of their own picks just to get rid of michael bennett that i'm surprised about because like i said i would have expected this to be like a straight up michael bennett for a fifth round pick type of trade now, if you look at the market for Michael Bennett, he's 32 years old. Clearly, we do know his best years are behind him. So I'm not surprised here at in terms of the compensation that they got. I'm just surprised at what they had to give up to be able to get that. So with that being said, am I shocked overall in terms of them moving Michael Bennett? No, I'm not. Look, folks, this has been going on for quite some time now we knew that the Seattle Seahawks defense was getting older and we knew there was going to be a time that the Legion of Boom would be no more, okay? And the Seahawks, I guess, are deciding now is that time. But there's a reason they're deciding that is because Michael Bennett. And why did they have to move Michael Bennett? Because he's due a $3 million roster bonus, I believe, this month, March 18th, along those lines. And so it was important for them to trade Michael Bennett so that they would save that money. And then, of course, the fact that he's still got, I believe, three years left on his deal at about $21 million. So you're saving that much money on a guy who's 32 years old. Like you said, you want to go back and you want to rebuild this defense. I don't know if Pete Carroll is going to be staying here. I think he is. But like I said, it's time to rebuild this entire defense. A lot of these guys are just getting too old. And speaking of which, Richard Sherman, let me just get talk about that real quick. There were reports today that Richard Sherman has been telling his teammates that he no longer expects to be a part of the Seahawks. Now, of course, no official trade has been announced because I would have made a video for it. But neither here nor there, no official trade has been done. But the expectation is Richard Sherman will not be back with the Seattle Seahawks. And we all know Richard Sherman, as good as he still is, 30 years old, is coming off an Achilles injury, okay? And with the trade market, I mean, could you get a fifth, fourth round pick for him? Uh, maybe. Uh, I doubt it. Maybe a fifth or sixth. So I don't believe the market is great for Richard Sherman either. But I do expect the trade to come. So they're looking to trade Richard Sherman. They're looking to move Michael Bennett. We don't know if Cam Chancellor is going to retire. Cliff Averill might retire. So this entire defense is pretty much done in terms of, you know, being that collective unit and being the Legion of Boom. So we know we can put that to rest here, okay? And this was expected, like I said, all along because the Seattle Seahawks, folks, I mean, they've been a 10-win team for the last couple of seasons. And I believe, I know they've went to two Super Bowls and they won one, but they should have been more dominant, honestly. And to, it feels weird to say, but they've been a little underrated in terms of, or I, I shouldn't say underrated, I should say they've underachieved a little bit in terms of what they should have been able to do. We really haven't talked much about them in the NFC this season. Now all the other teams are coming up like in their own division, the Rams, the 49ers. These are the hot new teams to talk about. So the Seattle Seahawks needed to do something. We all know it was time for them to turn the reins over to Russell Wilson in terms of having them carry the team. And last year he did. Um, but of course their offensive line was awful. But now it's time for them to get younger. Now it's time for them to get fresher on the defensive end um, and use these draft picks towards that. Russell Wilson, we all know the offense goes as he goes and this team should go as, as he goes, okay? So if the Seattle Seahawks expect 
to get back to a Super Bowl. I mean, it's going to be difficult for them to find another Legion of Boom, if you will. But if you're now spending the money that were, you were spending on the defensive end to maybe surround Russell Wilson with more options, because if you think about it, man, Russell Wilson, I mean, he's got Doug Baldwin, Jimmy Graham, they're not expected to re-sign him. Doug Baldwin, uh, Russell Wilson needs some weapons as well, okay? So for me, I would like to see the Seattle Seahawks spend some of, the, some of this money on the offensive end, and let's see what happens. But like I said, am I surprised by these moves? Absolutely not. Let's real quickly talk about the Eagles. The rich get richer, folks. Okay, you want to talk about a stout defensive line. Now you got, um, you know, Michael Bennett. Uh, alongside Fletcher Cox, Derek Barnett, Brandon Graham. I mean, this is just a hellacious defensive line that the Eagles are building, and this is a perfect fit for them because, like I said, they're in win-now mode. And so for this, I believe the Eagles got a great trade here. I'm not going to say any team lost here in terms of even the Seahawks because, obviously, I, I, like I said, I felt like they needed to move on, and maybe this was the market for Michael Bennett. But, damn, the Eagles got good, okay? They're going to be better if that's possible on the defensive end than last year, and I feel bad for all of the NFC East teams. So overall, folks, like I said, not surprised here. Uh, the Seahawks did need to make a move. Let's see what happens. I expect Richard Sherman to be traded, so look out for that. Let me know what you guys think about this move. Leave a comment down below if you agree or disagree that the Seahawks needed to break up the Legion of Boom. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, thank you for watching.